hi friends welcome back so in this video we will be discussing about what are the various risks we normally anticipate in any software testing project especially whenever we are developing a test plan there we should clearly call that out what are the potential risks we may anticipate what are the potential risks we may anticipate for a given software testing project so in this video i will be discussing some of the very important potential risks we may anticipate uh, whenever we are executing any software testing project the first uh, key potential uh, risk is incomplete testing if the testing is not thoroughly we have tested without uncovering all the defects in a software then that becomes a potential risk for the customer yeah because of that we should come up with a recommend traceability matrix that would guarantee for every given requirements we have enough test coverage is there enough details are there using those recommend traceability matrix we can avoid this potential risk of uh, incomplete testing and the next one is lack of testing resources lack of testing resources especially in terms of uh, the testers availability and uh, other resources other resources could be hardware resources software resources also very much required if you are not getting enough of these resources on time then the risk will become very higher and probable getting risk is very higher because of that we should put it in a well planned manner in our test plan and we have to talk to the stakeholders and uh, put the right plan in place in case if you are not getting right resources on right time then we have to keep escalating to the various stakeholders or any help from the stakeholders so that uh, we can mitigate this risk of uh, lack of testing resources and the next one is insufficient uh, test coverage insufficient test coverage is nothing but as we discussed earlier if you do not have a right coverage for a given functionality in a software this becomes a higher risk where we do not have enough coverage for a given application that becomes a huge risk for the customer as well as we discussed earlier we should properly follow the review processes come up with the right recommend traceability matrix and work with the various stakeholders so that uh, we can um, cover uh, enough test coverage in terms of testing so that uh, we can uh, mitigate this uh, potential risk and the next one is changing requirement again this is a very key risk in any software testing project if uh, requirements are keep changing uh, most often then uh, it becomes a very challenging certain times we have to keep modifying all the test cases and uh, we have to keep adding new test cases as and when we these requirements are getting changed again that is a higher risk and uh, having a high potency where uh, we may lose the track on the overall progress of the project because of that if we follow the change management processes effectively we can avoid this and the next uh, kind of risk we may anticipate is inaccurate test data if the test data whatever we have created which is not up to the mark of production data then that becomes very challenging and because of that we should try to create as much as or mimicking the test data of production like data that would give the right test results and that would give the right results of the overall software testing as well the next one is the test design whatever the designs which we make if those test designs are not effective it is having so many issues then that kind of risk also very potentially in case if the test cases are not written properly if the test cases are not reviewed properly with the enough skill resources then this risk can be potentially becomes very huge and they become very risky for the given project you can avoid this or you can mitigate this by considering right set of resources senior folks who can review all of our test deliverables and the next uh, type of risk we may anticipate is inconsistency in test execution if you do not put the right plan and uh, if you are not able to make the progress of the those test results or test executions then uh, whatever we put a plan which is of no use we should 
put a plan we have to consistently execute the test cases so that we can meet the overall uh, testing goal on time otherwise this risk becomes very high you have to keep a contingency in our mind because it may happen that people may go on sick leave people go on uh, vacations or there are we may see a lot of road blockers while testing even we have to keep everything in our mind in order to have a consistency in test execution the next one is lack of test automation if you are just depending on the manual test cases all the time the risk becomes very high because as the requirements are getting changed or as we add more requirements then executing the same test cases or more test cases leads to lot of monotonous and leads to lot of time consuming and it may leads to lot of errors uh, while we execute in the test cases you have to mitigate this risk by bringing uh, automation strategy approaches well in the beginning of the project and we have to get it automated so that we can avoid this risk in the future as well and the next type of risk we may anticipate is this is very crucial especially for software testing team normally most of the time will be consumed by the development team in order to develop the project where testing team will get a very little time or no time for testing because of that uh, you may not be able to complete the testing uh, well in advance or they may not, we, we may not be enough to cover everything again this is a higher risk and we should plan very properly we have to keep highlighting escalating so that we get enough time at least reasonable time to complete our software testing activities if you are not doing this putting the right risk and right mitigation plan this becomes very challenging uh, risk for you in any software testing projects and the next one is defects which are found very late in the game especially if you do not have a right test cases are reviewed and if the testers are not doing their job properly they are not able to find the crucial or critical issues well before well uh, in the beginning then uh, overall testing activity will becomes very challenging because if you try to find out these issues little late in the game uh, in order to fix those issues also become very costly and uh, it again it's time consuming as well the next one is undetected performance issues especially if you are not putting the right uh, architectural uh, uh, strategies and performance strategies so that uh, we can plan these uh, performance topics well before we can uh, anticipate uh, performance challenges so that we can come up with the right test cases in the performance area by using the right tools we can mitigate this performance uh, issues and security vulnerability as well again this is very crucial if you are using online application when we are not doing the regression testing more often more frequently whenever changes are introduced then um, it becomes a very huge risk for a given project because if developer keep changing certain things if it is not tested or if it is not regressed then it may happen that lot of uh, new code is pumped inside to the code base which are not tested properly it may creates lot of regression issues later in the game you have to put the right planning right regression automation in order to avoid this uh, potential risk and the next one is again hardware compatibility and software compatibility issues also be, may be there whenever we are certifying our software for a particular hardware or software and we have to test uh, all the different combinations of hardware and software to guarantee that is going to work in a real life situation if you are not doing all uh, different compatibility testing in terms of hardware and software you may get into various challenges and the next one is insufficient uh, user acceptance testing again this user acceptance testing is done by the business user if business users are not really testing the product then we may get into bigger challenges uh, in terms of uh, releasing the project and the next one is integration issues as well whenever a given application is required to be integrated with the various systems various various other applications if you have not done the right integration testing well before well in advance 
then these issues also we can anticipate that may give a lot of risk uh, in completing a given software testing project. And the next one is the standards in our testing. We have to establish the right standard. If you do not have a right standard, then you, you may get into this uh, risk or potential issue and poor communication. Again, this is very important. We should put a communication plan who are all our stakeholders, what frequency we should have a meeting, what are the various communication channels, either email, conference calls, video calls, everything we could be documented so that the, we have different well communication plan so that we can avoid this uh, poor communication risk. And the next one is again inception documentation. Whenever we do not have a right documentation for our testing, Definitely, we cannot uh, track our testing progresses. Definitely, we cannot uh, watch for any quality in our testing. And the next one is, as we discussed earlier, there could be, there are certain risk may anticipate uh, without uh, proper planning, like unforeseen circumstances. Again, during that time also testing may amper. We should keep all these things in our mind as well while planning our software testing activities. These are the some of the potential risks we should keep in your mind whenever we are planning uh, our software testing for any project in that matter.